Okay, big guy. Uh, this is going to be a good video for you. You can definitely tell you've been doing a lot of pitching. Because you're still pushing off that back foot, but not as bad. It's not near as bad. It's it's kind of like you're not lifting up, and then you know right as you right as you make contact, you're starting to go up. But it's it's a little later and later than it used than it used to be. You know, you used to start pushing up about right there. Um, obviously, I mean there are guys that do a much better job of really just kind of pouring down into the pitch. I want you to watch this guy with you. You can see how he just kind of gradually goes down and he stays right there. You know, go back and look at that a couple of times. Okay. Now, this week we're going to work on one thing and one thing only. Um, we have got to get it to where you are not straightening out right there. Okay, we've got to get that out of your swing. It's like having a hitch. I've been thinking about it and thinking about it. And, you know, you really need to get that out of there because it just, it's a motion that now you've got to get back into another motion to make good solid contact. And you really need to keep that part of your arm as still as you can. You go back and look at the um, Grant there beside you and just keeps his hands very still and very steady and it's hips and then hands. And you've got kind of a hitch in that and it's, uh, it's one of those things where if you could repeat it exactly the same way every time um, and not have all that movement, then, you know, I think you'd, you would um, square the ball up better. You know, I just noticed in that, you know, there was a lot of pitches that were right there in your, in your wheelhouse, and you just barely miss them, and they go shooting straight up or they go shooting straight down. And, you know, we want to make it to where, you know, you're hitting line shots and line drives every time. So if we could limit that to where we just once you get to the set position and you get your your foot down and your heel comes down you keep that arm relatively steady instead of having that plus you've got that you know wanting to rise up but unless you practice these dry swings you'll you're gonna have a hard time perfecting it and making it work it's just over and over and over again um, I mean, I'll see, t I'll see good hitter after good hitter, and you, you know, I've showed you two, and here's a third one, where they keep that elbow reasonably, reasonably bent, and it just does not unfold like that. And I'm convinced that Austin, we can get that out of it, out of there. It's just gonna take some work. We'll get the hand right there more, and just keep it there. All right, we'll see you next time. All right, buddy.